Hi morning everyone, Richard here. I'm out in the park again and this time I've got something interesting. I've uh, switched back to Canon R8 okay, from uh, Sony A7R4. So now I'm having the R Canon R8 with me. And this is what I have. This is the R8 and I've got hold of this 800mm RF f11 lens which i have not used it on the r8 before can you imagine that i've got this uh 800mm before with my r5 so the the thing is with the 800mm because this is a fixed uh, lens very very uh, uh shallow uh, f811 aperture um it has a box in the center screen when you when you're using it right so let me show you this so when you're using it, it will show a box, a, a tiny square box in the center, right? But for this version, because of R8, which is updated firmware, it has 80% uh, wide uh, tracking. So that means I'm able to track birds in flights better with this. So let me plug it in and show you. But before that, I'm why I'm having this as well. I have these two uh, Boya mic, which I'm gonna plug it to my uh, Action Four, right? And at the same time, what's interesting with this Boya mic is it has a pass through, so I can plug the Boya mic to this uh, uh, camera, the R8. At the same time, I'm gonna do some video. The reason why I switch this. Because I want to do some birds in flight video because I've never shown you all birds in flight video before actually I just realized that um, let me try it. let me hook this up and then I'll do the setup and then I'll show you what, what I'm trying to do today I want to do a video for you to see birds in flight and I'm especially here hopefully I can get hold of the bird the oriental data which I need the 800 mm to reach because sky flies really high um, let's hook this up Okay, if you can see this square, now the rectangle is uh, much bigger, 80% of the area, right? So that's how it looks like, it's pretty long and big, but uh, it's very light with the R8, because the lens is light and the body is light as well. So we shall hook this up and uh, put it on the go. This is my field of view. I'm going to walk to the bridge where I'm going to get the flyovers because I want to get hold of the birds flying uh, over uh, to the other side from the bridge and uh, at the same time hopefully it's the morning uh, hopefully the oriental data do come out. I'm trying to get into a position where I can get hold of when the birds fly off. So there are some there yeah let's see if i can get them in flight and then do a video for you uh, with the audio as well so in the meantime there's birds there's plane flying past so i need them to fly out there's one there yeah just miss that if they fly further and longer distance, I can shoot the video. If not, it will be very short. Right, so... And the uh, lens, the 800mm f11 has a stabilization. Right, so... Because R8 doesn't have any. R8 doesn't have any uh, IBIS. Okay, this one's coming. Yeah, let's see if I can get hold of the video. Yeah, there's a video of it landing. That's beautiful. I'm not sure if it's too bright. Uh, I have to see the playback. On the EVF, it's quite bright. So, just landed there. Yep, and there's another one just landing on the water. So I want to get 
video because I s always shoot photos but I've not done any videos of birds in flight for you guys so that's since I changed to the Canon uh, with the lens uh, stabilization which is quite good doesn't have in-body stabilization it's just on the lens it's not bad Miss that. Let's hope uh, more fly out. The crows are flying around, you can see them. And uh, what's coming here? That's just a crow, right? Let's see how good the tracking on the crow is. Can it gain the tracking? Crows are enjoying themselves. Okay, now the tracking is on the crows. It's, it's big enough already. So, let it go. So, it's got it. It's got the tracking. The video has it. But uh, trying to follow this path a bit difficult. There it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, behind the trees. Let's see if anyone flies through. The problem when you're looking at a 800mm is if there's any other thing flying through the side, you won't be able to see it. Right, so nice, nice. Yeah, but it landed, right? So recording takes some time to activate on the R8. Look at that, he's, he's flashing. You can see the wings open and his uh, crouch is open for the sun. Sun salutation with the crouch. Of birds, right? It's very easy to use a cannon with the 800mm. Because the stabilization has been pretty good and then the tracking on the birds is pretty solid. That, right? So, recording takes some time to activate on the R8. So there it goes, finally it's tracking it and I'm having a nice uh, shot of this. Hope you guys like the video. That's how good the 800mm is. There's no IBs on the body, it's just lens. And uh, most you get is electronic shutter. So that's bird flying off. Wow, this 800mm is really good because now I can see the plane with some cam trails. <laughs> Right behind there. That's it. Beautiful landing coming in. And yeah, it's land on the treetop. There it goes. Normally you see me take photos of the bird, right? So this time I'm going to do the video for you guys. So you see it's landing at the bank there to do the usual cooling off from after sunbathing. Well, they're all herons. Grey herons. They all just living there. This is their house. It's just beautiful. Look at how it glides. Because it's a huge wingspan. Yeah. So that's the oriental data. Beautiful, beautiful bird. Look at that. Yeah, it always comes out about 10 a.m. It's very on-spot timing. So that's the beautiful bird that I want to show you guys. Normally I took photos of it, now I'm showing you in video. Right, so such a beautiful bird. It flies really high. So it's, go it's going round and round and it's going to go up higher. Okay, that is it. Just right above me. Hope you guys seeing it. So it's a beautiful bird, look at that. Very hard to hold it near because it's very near. It's just right above me, wow. There it goes. Beautiful guy. There it goes, there it goes. 
Is it gonna make a turn here? No. Right, there it goes to the other side. Oh my god, the second darter. They fly in pairs. So that's the second one. There it goes. Beautiful guy. There it goes, there it goes. Is it gonna make a turn here? No. Right, there it goes to the other side. So, I have to shut down the camera for a while. It's really two bars so overheating. The R8 does overheat, it's same as the R5. Makes no difference. Uh, because I'm outdoor, direct sunlight, and it's freaking hot, and we're shooting high frames, you know, uh, high shutter speed, you know, high frames per second, and then it does overheat because of the temperature that I am in. Uh, that's a fact of life, even the R5 overheats. It doesn't matter what software out there they've done, because it's a physical thing. And being in direct sunlight is very, very hot. Uh, even the action cam does overheat in direct sunlight. So uh, you have to shut it down for take a rest, get used to know your equipment, right? So the other thing is the batteries on the R8 and the overheating. These are two things you need to keep tap off. But uh, it's still the bang for buck if you're going to do birds in flight, wildlife. Uh, people ask me, well, F11, is, how are you going to take a nice picture of a bird? You don't care because it's birds in flight. There's nothing behind the bird. It's just skies. So that's, you don't care about bokeh. You want to catch the bird from the tip of the beak to the end. If you're shooting F2.8, F4, you're not going to see. You're just going to see the beak and everything is blur. If you get the eyes, if you're lucky enough, if you're close enough to get the eyes, the rest of the body is blur. Right? Just the eyes, the beak is blur. So it looks nice. It looks nice, but it, you don't get the bird. It's, it's, that's a pro's uh, artistic value. But if I want the whole bird, F11 is just right. So Canon did right with this F11. I tried F8 lens. It is still not uh, enough to get the whole bird because my bird is... Sorry, I shouldn't say that my bird is big. Okay, so the bird is big, <laughs> not my bird, okay? Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, the bird is big, right? From the, you look at the heron, you look at the uh, oriental data. From the beak to the end of the legs, it's pretty far. So you're not going to get any of it if it's F4. So if you're shooting birds perch uh, under canopy trees and all those, yeah, F2.8, 2.4 is fine. Because they're standing vertical, right? The plane is vertical, but this is horizontal. You get the whole body. You want the whole body. So after all the calculation, I mean, seriously, Canon, they're not dumb, right? F11 was a good compromise. Dark for bad weather days or dark for weather that is not uh, very gloomy. But I'm in tropics, so I'm, it's, like it's sunlight every day, except monsoon season. So no problem, you should enjoy this lens and this weight that you gain. Just bring more batteries and mind the heat as well. So you enjoy your, your shots and you learn with this first before you upgrade and you start paying tons of money for very expensive lenses and bodies. Just start with simple ones. So I do hope you like the photos and the videos. I'm, I'm going to shoot more before I go off because it's so freaking hot. And uh, do give me a thumbs up if you like this. This is my first time using the R8 with the 800mm f2.11. I've used the R8 with the 400mm f4, uh, 400mm f5.6, and the R5 with the 800mm f11, but not the R8 with the 800mm f11. I'm liking it. It's a very good combo. So do give me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.